Hello, welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video where I'm going to go through a really tricky IGCSE paper two proportion question. And I'd just like to say thanks to all of you out there for helping me actually identify exactly what this question was. So again, a really big thank you. That helps me able to actually go through the solution really, really quickly. And hopefully at the end of the video, you've got exactly the same solution that I did. So let's go to my laptop and let's find out. Okay, so this is the question that you've shared with me. Okay, if you disagree on this, then please let me know in the comments below whether you have a different question you want me to go through. So y is inversely proportional to the root of x, and then x itself here is directly proportional to w squared. And you're given some conditions here, so y is 12, and w is 12, and then we need to find y in terms of w. So again, it's one of these little twists that they're doing on these proportion questions as students get better and better at it. So let's start with the first statement here. So y is inversely proportional. So remember, we use our fish symbol like so, and because it's inversely proportional, we write it as a fraction, so one over root of x. Then we turn that into an equation. So therefore, y is equal to some constant k over root x. So I'm going to leave that for the moment. I am going to come back to that. That's going to be the first equation. Now we're going to look at the second part here. So x is directly proportional to w squared. So how do we write that as a proportionality statement? Well, x don't forget our fish symbol is directly proportional, so no fraction here, and then w squared. Now, to make sure we don't confuse the two constants, I'm going to use a different letter for the constant here. So we can then write this as x is equal to some constant m w squared, and that's going to be our second equation. Now, this is quite an untypical question here. Again, it hasn't worked like previous questions in the past. What I'm going to do here is substitute one into the other. So wherever I see an x in here, I'm going to replace it with mw squared. So combine the two equations together. If we do that, so I'm going to rewrite this top equation here. I'm going to get y is equal to k, some constant, and then the square root of m w squared. So now I'm going to manipulate this to make it something that I can work with. So what do I mean by that? Well, we're going to use some third skills here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to separate out this square root. So we can rewrite this as the square root of m times, I'm going to use a dot for times here, the square root of w squared. And remember, square rooting and squaring are opposite operations here. So the two things are going to cancel, and we're left with just w. So we get k over root m times 1 over w. So I'm just separating this out. So I've got this in a slightly different form. Now, the trick I'm going to do here, and this is something we often do at IB or A level, is I'm going to rename this constant. Remember, this k over root m is just a number. That's all it is. It's just a number, uh, and we can actually replace this with a different letter. So I'm going to let capital A, so I'm just taking another letter here, equal to k over root m. M. Now, why is this actually useful? Where, wherever I see a k over root m, I'm going to replace that with an a. That gives me then just a times 1 over w. Again, simplifying that down, we then get, remember y hasn't changed on the left-hand side, we get y equals a over w. This is a nice trick that we often use with differential equations as well, where we take a not very nice looking constant and change it to something else. Now, why is that helpful? Well, we can now use the initial conditions. So when y is 12 and w is 12. So let's write that up here. So when y is equal to 12, w is also equal to 12. And now we just substitute this in. So we get 12 equals a over 12. We're going to get the a on its own here. So what's the opposite of dividing by 12? Well, timesing by 12 on both sides. This cancels, we're left with just a, 
and then 12 times 12 is 144. So to write our final answer here, our final answer is going to be y is equal to 144 over w. Remember, we want y in terms of w that way round. So this is our final answer. I saw in the comments a couple of people got this answer. So really, really well done if you did. And if you want to study this topic a bit further, then do check out the video in front of you, which goes through everything related to variation and proportion.